Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to the farm. Today, we are going to be working on spraying our fields of corn and wheat. Um, I did a couple of things around the farm here. So first off, we got the truck back, got it washed, and I got it sitting there again. And then I brought the uh, corn and draper headers along with header trailer that we bought a couple episodes back now. Uh, I brought those over here as well. And then um, the combine's now back in the shop. I did have to pull it out to do those, to work with those headers, obviously, since a tractor can't really work with them. And if you see our shed is a little bit different, this thing is such a pain in the butt. It was sitting about where this corn planter was, and then after I got back to this farm after recording yesterday's video, it was sitting right about here. Now that's quite a distance, so I decided, you know what, I'm going to park that there and park everything along here just like that. So we're going to go ahead and hop into this farm all here. This is what's going to run the sprayer um, because the three point on this tractor is too far back for that spreader. And uh, the sprayer booms just barely clear this tractor cab, but that is something that we can deal with. And we need to go over here to our liquid fertilizer tank and get this filled up. Um, but yeah, so we're going to be working on spraying that. Um, I did have a little accident with the bales uh, that we just finished stacking so nicely and neatly yesterday. I was in the shed, I had saved the game and fast forwarded just to make sure that they weren't going to disappear or anything on us. And I was standing in just the right spot that I could pick up a bale from where I was. And of course, as I fast forwarded, you know, I was fast forwarding a couple of days, plus I had to fast forward to today to get to where we could spray. And, uh, you know, I was doing that, and a uh, notification came up for a great demand. And, of course, you know, I just clicked to get it away. Well, I didn't realize that I had clicked, and I was holding a bale. And I moved over a little bit, and a whole bunch of bales went flying. I'm not going to fix them right now. I'll fix them at some other point. I'm tired of bales right now. But we will fix them at some other point in time so yeah that was totally annoying um, I mean it wasn't like all of the bales it was maybe the first couple rows like the top bales and a couple of the bottom ones got all screwy but whatever I am going to just leave them be because it I like I said I'm not gonna deal with it so we'll get this thing unfolded. It's a little bit wider than I thought. So now we're going to open our section control HUD, left control B, and I think I'm just going to put it on automatic for now. So as you can tell, I just turned the sprayer on. But it is not actually spraying right now. That's because of the control there. So you can see they're all turning on one by one. So anything that is not over field, like it only does a section, it doesn't do each individual one when it's on automatic. So that part kind of stinks a little bit, but otherwise it does work pretty decent. Thumbnail picture there. And then some screenshots. So we're going to try and get uh, this corn sprayed uh, for sure in this episode and then hopefully some of the wheat field. Um, the wheat and the corn field here are the only fields that we can actually work right now um, because they're the only ones that have actually advanced a growth stage. Uh, the soybeans are going to be a little bit yet. Um, we're going to be probably harvesting our wheat and possibly our corn before we are actually fertilizing the uh, soybeans some 
so we're gonna have to take care of that uh, into other seasons but when it once harvest rolls around we'll probably take care of the fertilization first and then we'll get started on our harvest because then we can focus on that more and not have to worry as much about our fertilization as well uh, this section control is really awesome I'm gonna have I'm definitely gonna learn how to add it and I'm gonna add it to every single sprayer that I have uh, right now because it is just so nice and um, you know like we're saving so much uh, fertilizer right now this way because it's not it's only spraying on stuff that is actually there I mean it would be nice if it had like when you put it on automatic if it did each individual section uh, versus just or each individual nozzle versus the uh, sections so if we stop here and shut this off and bring this up again so we have automatic we have single so we can shut them all off turn them all on turn individual ones off or we have left to right so I guess actually you can't do individuals which does kind of stink that would be really nice if they added where you could shut off each individual nozzle um, that would be really really awesome but who knows maybe whoever made this script is gonna update it in the future and they will add that um, that's hard to say I guess so it could be that they are gonna update it which would be awesome uh, you know update it to have individual but not really sure I guess that church is really really bugging me that thing just annoys the heck out of me just not even gonna look at it it's just that annoying I don't know what the deal is with that church model that it just doesn't that it always does that I don't know it's kind of annoying I have a feeling that this sprayer is going to be sticking is going to be the machine that lasts the longest on our farm aside from our pickup of course our pickup will probably stay for quite a long time as well but in terms of like equipment I think this is what's going to stay the longest just because it's a very nice size it's not too small in fact this is actually maybe a little bit big uh, could have probably gone for like a 3.1 that was a little bit smaller but what the heck you know um, but this one is gonna stick around for the longest out of everything of course maybe our farm king auger will stick around for quite a while too but uh what in the world I don't know why it's doing that let me guess my helpers no my alternative helper is off I don't know why did that so this is super nice I don't have to shut this sprayer off at all when I'm turning around like this I can just leave it on and everything is going to stay off uh, for me so that's super nice because I don't have to worry about oh shoot forgot to turn it off because we all know that that happens quite a bit especially to me <laughs> um, or where my side panel decides oh nope you're gonna stay on it does that quite a bit too <clears throat> so we'll be spraying these two fields today uh, in game I'm talking and then we'll fast forward a day 
and then we can spray them again or fertilize them sorry and then we might be able to do the soybeans with the sprayer I'm not exactly sure we're gonna have to see what they're at in terms of growth stage but uh, they should I would think be ready maybe not no they're they're not gonna be ready for quite a while yet for their first round of uh, fertilizer it won't be until just about corn well, by the time we're done with wheat harvest and, you know, not far off from corn harvest that we can start spraying them and stuff. <clears throat> it is kind of funny. Let's see, is... Oops. Hold this. Let's see, corn and soybeans, they're harvested at the same time on here. It's kind of funky. Oh man. I've done that a couple of times now. Where it uh, interferes with my course play. Yeah, this sprayer is massive. Compared to like our other implements that is. This thing is ginormous. Uh, but. It's definitely not the biggest sprayer that I have. Uh, like the Hagee sprayers that I've got. I think the largest one is like 100 and 36 foot or something like that it's I know there's 120 there's a 90 foot and I think that third one is a hundred like 36 feet or something like that I th and I mean I think that's probably one of the larger sprayers that I have but I don't know I guess I never really cared to sit and look at what the sizes excuse me what all the sizes are of all my sprayers that I've got so but we'll probably be using this one for quite a while until we upgrade to a self-propelled. Our spreader, that'll definitely probably get updated. That'll probably turn in, you know, we'll probably trade that one in on like a DN345 John Deere spreader or something like that maybe. I don't know. In the future, we'll be running all self-propelled sprayers and spreaders, I'm sure. probably be using like the uh you know like i don't know what kind of sprayer but be using the uh case ih 4540 patriot uh spreader for that uh for spreading the fertilizer and stuff definitely wish you could go faster with these sprayers i think seven miles an hour is a little bit slow i don't know what real ones run I know, I think they run at least 10 miles an hour, if not faster. Um, but I've never been in a sprayer, I guess. At least while it's spraying. Uh, I was in my uncle's once when he unloaded it from the trailer. and We do actually have like a pickup sprayer sitting in the weeds at uh, our farm. Uh, it's a little it's an old Chevy with a sprayer in the box but I don't think that thing's started in years in fact I know it hasn't started in years I don't even know the last time that it was actually used just never never used that kind of thing Alright, we're just about done with this one. It has taken about half the video just to... But then again, we did have to pull the sprayer out, and I did show off the little changes that I made to our lineup of... Or not our lineup, but our order of equipment. Must have been something that got missed there. That it kind of kicked in for a second. I'm pretty sure you wouldn't just be spraying corn like this, like, you know, driving all over the field. You'd follow the rows and stuff, and probably use a 
like a row track row crop tractor or a row track well not a row track but a row crop a tractor that's wheels are set up for row crops I don't think you'd just drive around with a normal sprayer like this anyways I could be wrong I guess but I don't believe that this is how you would do things Alright, we're gonna jump over here and put check for that field. And then we need to select on that field. Get ready, we're gonna go spray our wheat field here. Now we'll at least get started on it. There's our one soybean field. Probably gonna stay just like that for a while now. Especially because we have a lot of stuff to do before, long before soybean harvest even. Uh, you know, we gotta spray, uh, spread our field, our two fields here yet, and spray once more. And we have to spray spread and spray again uh, these fields I forgot to sign out plus we have to harvest our wheat bale the straw haul and stack the straw and then we have to buy cows and get started on feeding them and stuff we got a lot to do yet before we even get close to starting soybean harvest or corn harvest for that matter we still got a little while to go for that Now we can drop this thing basically all the way down. This is the one thing that I hate about things that have steerable tires in them. Which, actually this, does it even have steerable tires? Nope, it just swings that much. It's the one thing that I hate is when things swing like this. And what in the world is smoking? That's our other tractor. What the heck? Holy smokes! What in the world? I don't know what that was about. That was interesting. And it's doing it again. What the heck? Evidently our tractor wants to start on fire or something. I don't know. I'm just going to leave it. I don't know what its deal is. I probably just need to start it or something and... I don't know. I'll mess with it later on here. We're just gonna focus on spraying. There we go. Okay, really? I think I need to like figure out how to get rid of this whole AI thing or something because it is really annoying. I turn it off, but yet it still does not go away. It's just annoying. That's all that it is. It is no help. It is just pure annoying. So 
We still got about 10 minutes left. So we'll spray as much as we can and then um, we'll just finish it tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to do any of the fertilization off camera because it's not really taking that long. It'll probably go a little bit faster with the spreader. I think we'll maybe be able to drive a little faster and that has a bigger spread width. Uh, of course, that is if we can actually stay, you know, like not just be overlapping tremendously. But I have a feeling that we'll probably be doing a lot of overlap just because the spreaders are a little bit harder to use than the sprayers are just because of the way that they're set up. Like if it's something that's got booms on it, then it's a little bit easier, but if it doesn't, then it is a major pain. can't really see any difference in the field not that I really thought that we would be able to I just want to look here and see what this is showing so it's showing the lightest of fertilizer probably that'd be my guess it's a whole lot of fields here I need to take my headset off for just one second here. Oofta. It presses my ear right against where my glasses are and starts to hurt after a while. might be lucky if we get all the way around this field once in this 10 minutes it's already been like two and a half since we were like over there <laughs> definitely wish this would go faster I don't think there is a way to well this is a mod so I might actually be able to change it uh, not sure if I could have changed it if it was, you know, still the in-game one or not. Um, I'm not exactly sure how that works with uh, in-game stuff. But I'm definitely going to, after I finish this video, I'm going to go and up the speed to like, so that it runs like 10 or 12 miles an hour something a little bit faster than what we are right now because seven miles an hour that's awfully slow we're just like wasting a lot of fertilizer here because of how slow we're going because I know sprayers don't go this slow I mean they also don't go like 20 miles an hour I don't believe but I'm pretty sure they do go at least 10 if not a little faster I'll be able to clear this section out going back I don't think that uh, the fertilizer spreading is going to be quite as thorough as like the spraying is just because we'll probably end up skipping more with the spreader than we have or even will with the sprayer here um, just because of you know how much easier it is to control a sprayer versus a spreader see like here we've got we're three sections are shut off right now on this sprayer So, I mean, we're just using that much less fertilizer right now. It's so nice.
definitely a script that I wish we had had a long time ago. But it maybe wasn't possible in other games. I I would have no idea on that one, but no idea how that one would work. See, and now nothing is on, and I didn't even have to turn it off. I just love that. <laughs> I cannot say it enough. I just love this mod. For those of you that uh, are, you know, haven't heard the video or whatever where I was talking about what script we're using, it is the sprayer add-on mod uh, that you can find on the official mod hub. And when I say official mod hub, I mean the Giants uh, website in their mod section. Uh, you can find it on there, and then you have to download the um, required mods that are listed in the download. Otherwise, you won't have any sprayers to use unless you have other ones that you know are set up for it. But otherwise, uh, you will be not using it if you don't get the uh, required mods, which is basically just edits of the in-game sprayers to work with the script that's all it really is so if you're planning to use an in-game sprayer anyways you could just go download those ones uh, if you're wanting to use uh, the sprayer add-on script that is so I would definitely recommend it I really like it it definitely is saving us on fertilizer because I think we would be a little more empty right now if we weren't using this script. I think we'd be maybe like a quarter of the way full versus like almost halfway full. Should be able to get the last of this in one more pass as well, which will be nice. So I think because we're not far off from being done, I'll just cancel the timer. Just because, like I said, we're not far off. I am going to shut the sprayer off here though, just so I can turn a little faster. it does turn much faster when it's off completely like when it when the sections are shut off the game still recognizes that it's on but your speed doesn't change which does kind of stink would be nice if the game like was recognizing it and knowing that the sprayer isn't spraying anything and then allowed you to go faster That'd be really cool. So yeah, we'll be able to wipe this out. And then we got a uh, couple more passes to finish up the rest of the field here. And then we'll have uh, all of our spraying done in, all in one video. At least of stuff that we can do, of course. Because there is still spraying to be done. Both second round on um, these here fields that we sprayed this episode. Plus spraying our soybeans twice. So.
So I'm hoping I'm timing everything correctly in terms of when I'm spraying and spreading. So that way it'll maximize our yield. Uh, to the max. Maximize it to the max. So that way we can uh, get the maximum yield that we possibly can and fill as many bins as possible because the more bins that we fill the more grain that we have the more money we make and the uh, sooner that we can upgrade some equipment I need to go do some searching on you know find some more like plows and stuff uh, find some like American-ish ones but you know a little bit bigger than the 2100 that we've got uh, I do have a couple that are bigger but they're like too big to buy right now so I mean like they're too big for our operation at the moment so I don't want to get them right now of course there's gonna be just a little bit that we miss All right, that is a wrap on our first round of fertilizer. Good thing we're high enough to not take out that sign, or that one. <laughs> Just about took two of them out. We need to fix that tractor too because that is ridiculous there's no reason that that should be doing that so we're just going to pull this up right next to our uh, fertilizer tank here or our liquid fertilizer tank I should say and We'll leave it right here and let's go whoa fix this guy there we go that should fix it I hope anyhow guys that is going to do it for today if you enjoyed the video be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel be sure to subscribe if you like what you see be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.